Well, finally, another Blu-ray unboxing video. However, this one is not that big. These are the two titles that I have. I do have this also, which is actually related. Uh, so I thought that I would just throw it in here in this video too. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll wait with that. I'll, I'll open these two first. Um, yeah, I haven't uh, made any orders for quite a while, except for Sabi ex exclusive steelbooks. And uh, actually, so yeah, these two are from Savi, but actually, one of them is not an exclusive, but I ordered that a while back. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, I've said this before, but I'm trying to finish uh, what I have before I buy new stuff. And uh, you know, sometimes I've succeeded better than other times when I've said that, but this time I seem to be doing pretty well. <laughs> so, anyway, um, it's gonna be, I'm pretty sure that I, I well. With a few exceptions, there's one thing, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later, uh, with an exception or possibly two. There is not going to be um, any unboxing videos for a while, uh, because I'm going to finish what I have first, and that's going to take at least until... Well, I don't know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm not sure, but um, anyway, I do have two here, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about these as I, as I open them. So, yeah, two Savi, well, one Savi Steelbook, one steelbook that I got from Savi. So... First up is the Savi exclusive. It, this is Peter Pan. Uh, normally I don't open the stuff that I buy on camera. However, this time I only have two items, so I thought that I just might as... Um, I just might as well... I might as... yeah, whatever. Uh, might as well open them, because otherwise the video will be so short. Um, so yeah, Peter Pan. I actually pre-ordered um, another steelbook. Uh, I have a few, a few. I have like three Disney Savvy steelbooks on order, and I'll show you them as they arrive. But um, it, there, there was this offer: if you bought one, you got some like I don't know, ten percent off, fifteen other steel Disney steelbooks. Um, <clears throat> so. Um, I picked this one, which is not really one that I've been watching a whole lot, but I do remember watching it a few times. And it's a really nice steelbook, Peter Pan, embossed here and obviously here at the edges. Then you have the back here. Always really nice back artwork on these uh, Savvy exclusive Disney steelbooks. And just their steelbooks in general, I guess. And always um, inside artwork as well. So there you go. Oh wait. That goes in there. Uh, so yeah, Peter Pan. Actually, let's take a look at these special features before we leave this. You can just pause if you want to. I'm sure you can just look this up anywhere really, but while I have it here, I might as well show you. Okay, so now to the next one, which I'm pretty sure I know which one this is. I can't imagine that it's anything else, because... No, no, it has to be what I'm thinking. Um, this one actually made um, a vlog a while back. I don't know exactly when, but I talked about this one and another release from this company. The company being Second Sight Films, I believe it's called. If not, then I'll correct that later. Um, and this is a Reanimator. Really nice limited edition 2 disc Blu ray steelbook. Let's see if Second Sight, yeah, right there, Second Sight. And I talked about that two, two uh, upcoming releases from them. I showed them on Savi, this being one of them. Uh, and uh, now it finally arrived. I, I did pre order that. I talked about the, the fact that I was gonna pre order them. Man, there's a really bad light here, or a bad... Well, you can see what I mean here. <laughs> anyway, um, so I did pre-order this right after the video, pretty much, right after I filmed it. And yeah, now it has arrived. This was a little bit delayed, I think, but it wasn't that bad. The other one that I talked about was Society by Brian Usna, which I have this on DVD, and a pretty nice edition, actually. And I also have Society on Tartan, a Tartan release on DVD. But I would like that other Society Blu-ray release anyway. However, there are, there has been some legal 
problems with that release for a while now and they have not um, updated that in a while either so um, I'm not really sure where it's going um, unfortunately um, hopefully they'll be able to sort these legal issues out eventually with society and release that anyway uh, this video is not really about society I just thought I would mention that because it's second sight films just as this one is uh, yeah so yeah let's, 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 <laughs> let's take a look at this one too I have seen the movie but only once very um, I'll show you the uh, special features later if you didn't see them already you can see the back here pretty nice but kind of hard to tell because the lighting is bad or too good because you know it just ruins everything here I'm sorry about that you have the logo there second sight let's open it up and see pretty pretty plain inside but it does have two discs disc one the unrated version and disc two the integral version and bonus features and like I said speaking of the bonus features Let's have a look here. Brand new 4K restoration. What? I'm not entirely sure what the integral version is. I don't even know what integral means. But uh, I'll look that up. Uh, we have an audio commentary with Stuart Gordon. And then an audio commentary with, speaking of him, Brian Usna. And actors Jeffrey Combs, Robert Sampson, Barbara Crampton and Bruce Abbott. I only know who Jeffrey Combs is. Anyway. Uh, Re Rian made a Resurrects documentary. Interviews with... Stuart Gordon and Brian Usna, writer, Dennis, well, whatever, uh, I mean, <laughs> you can read, uh, and then extended deleted scenes and stuff, so yeah, really nice, uh, I'm not sure if any anything of this is new to this uh, release, it does say here the integral version exclusive to Blu-ray, it doesn't say anything about any of the other ones being exclusive, but I guess that doesn't mean that none of them are new to this release, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna look that up. Uh, chances are that most of these special features are already on my other release because that's a two disc edition and I know that there are quite a bit of um, special features there. However, I just wanted this on Blu-ray. I wanted an excuse to <laughs> buy it again or to, uh, to watch it again to get this to get it on Blu-ray. The excuse being the very nice and limited steelbook, I guess. And um, of course I want to see it in better quality too and it just it's just appropriate to buy it on Blu-ray uh, <laughs> when you want to see a movie again and you have it on DVD why not get it on Blu-ray you know <laughs> the, the logic of, a, of an obsessive collector so there's the two uh, steelbooks for today uh, but I do have something else here I don't know if I mentioned this but I actually have unboxed this before but, and it is related to the steelbooks, so you might have a, a clue what it is. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> if you're right. This is simply um, plastic uh, sleeves. Protective sleeves for uh, Blu-ray steelbooks. Or Blu-ray and DVD steelbooks. I guess you can use them for other, other um, releases too, not just steelbooks. However, these ones are actually wide. They're supposed to be. Yeah, you can see you can fit um, a bigger release in here, uh, which I actually bought a hundred of, of the of the well, a hundred sleeves, protective sleeves for Blu-ray steelbooks, regular size ones. And but I, ha I do have some releases, and I'm I'm planning on getting more releases that don't fit in those sleeves. So I got. Uh, two packs of these wide ones um, so yeah um, you know what let's try one out here I actually made made my own protective sleeve out of two you can see here I've taped maybe you can't tell I don't know but I've taken two uh, regular ones and I've cut them on each side and I've put put them apart so that is so that it should fit this wide steelbook but let's see if this one fits here it's supposed to fit if it doesn't then you know it's supposed to 
why I feel pressured because this is on camera. Well, now I can't get it in here, but um, it's supposed to go in there. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, I don't know if it is actually too small or if it's just me not being able to do it properly right now. But um, anyway, never mind. Big time fail there. I apologize. <laughs> These are supposed to be wide. They don't look wide, to be honest. I don't know. Um, anyway, we'll see about that later. But uh, that's it for this time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I um, yeah, I'll just keep doing the DVD updates and. Um, Whenever I get the editing program to work, I, I, I do have a solution right now. It shouldn't take too long, I hope. Um, and whenever I get that to work, I'll upload my fucking Sweden Rock Festival video and uh, other stuff. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is how you make, this is how you uh, prolong or whatever a video, which could be two minutes, but just because you make it 11, because why not? Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.